Okay, today is January the 10th, 2016. We're watching the water vapor loop for the Northeast Pacific, and today uh, we have uh, harp transmitters focused all through the uh, Eastern Pacific. We've got one here, and one here, and then one right over here. We've got a, a couple of systems here and here, uh, trying to make their way into the West Coast to deliver rain, and there's so much high pressure uh, installed on the uh, west coast that that's not going to allow the moisture field to move in these moisture fields to move in and uh, deliver rain however uh, right now in los angeles we have 94 percent relative hu relative humidity uh, the dew point is 46 degrees fahrenheit we've got a temperature of 48 degrees and the barometric pressure is uh, 30.12 so we've got very high pressure consistent with what we're uh, seeing on the uh, on the satellite map, we've got high pressure, 30.12 inches, and uh, that's uh, going to uh, block a lot of this weather, and that's what's happening here. This is a shield uh, that's been installed all through the uh, west coast, and that is uh, effective. It's not allowing this moisture field to move in and uh, dump rain. So what's happening is it's all moving up the west coast and around this high pressure up here, and then back uh, through Canada to the uh, east. All right, so we've got a, a storm here. We've got a gale right here. And both of these have transmitters focused on them. Uh, this dark area, that's a harp transmitter that's uh, applying a heat, descending air to uh, disrupt and weaken the uh, core pressure of these weather systems, to weaken them and uh, so that they can then be uh, allowed to move in and not uh, flood the entire uh, west coast. <clears throat> okay, let's take a, take a look at some of these other uh, maps. Also, we have Tropical Storm Polly down here, which uh, yesterday was moving uh, due uh, west. Well, Polly is now moving due east uh, because there is pressure, high pressure all along the uh, 20 degree latitude, which is where uh, the Hawaiian Islands are. It's all, all through here. There's, there's high pressure out beyond the islands, and there's high pressure on this side. And so uh, something has caused this storm to uh, reverse direction. It's now moving uh, due east. Okay, so let's go on and look at some of these other maps. We have the, uh, the infrared loop, the rainbow map. And we can see that that harp transmitter right here is causing uh, a, a disruption in this uh, moisture field moving north. It's actually cutting it in half, and we'll take a close-up uh, look at that. It's a lot of uh, rain potential right here. This would fill a lot of reservoirs in California. And we have this second uh, storm right here, which also has a harp transmitter on it. Let's take a look at the, uh, this is a close-up view. This is the Western U.S. water vapor loop. We have strong high pressure installed all along California, all the way up to uh, Oregon and Washington. That's uh, blocking all this weather as it wants to move uh, east into the uh, state, into the west coast. Let's take a look at the uh, infrared loop. We have uh, indication here that this high pressure being uh, installed right here, this is that harp transmitter, is actually cutting off the uh, this uh, moisture field moving to the north. All right. And we do have, it feels like it may rain outside in Los Angeles, so we're going to keep an eye on what's happening right here. But we did see uh, some high-level chemtrail uh, haze uh, along the uh, skyline as we were on the road today. And so that is going to probably prevent uh, most of this uh, moisture field from uh, generating any rain. So a lot of chemtrail haze in the skies. All right, here is the uh, visible loop. We can see what's happening here. This is uh, being cut off. This uh, moisture field is being uh, cut off by that heart transmitter right there. And we have the jet stream. And we can see that uh, this splits off. One, one half of the jet stream is moving north into uh, Alaska. The other half is moving into, uh, into uh, uh, Mexico. And then over California, we have some high-speed air moving uh, to the uh, southeast. All right, here is the surface analysis map. 
and we can see a couple of systems here offshore. We've got this storm, and we have this uh, gale right here. These are the two ones uh, that are nearest the west coast. We've got a gale indicated over here. This is a harp transmitter that is cutting off a lot of this uh, flow into the uh, west coast. We've got high pressure installed all up and down the uh, entire west coast from Mexico all the way up through Canada. All of this right here. And we've got high pressure all along uh, this area here. And uh, Tropical Storm uh, Polly is uh, somewhere right right down here. We can't really see it, but uh, it's right, right about here. It's just a little bit further down. Okay, uh, next is the, uh, we've got a sea level pressure analysis, and we can see that high pressure again all through the uh, western United States. That's going to block everything offshore trying to move in. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, 500 millibar. We can see that strong high pressure, these ridges all through the west coast. That's going to block everything. And on the 300 millibar, we see the same, same thing. Strong high pressure off the west coast or right over the west coast. So these operators, these harp operators, these transmitter operators have decided to uh, cut off the, uh, the rain flow temporarily. And that is probably because of the intensity of these storms are so large. However, uh, uh, they do have the ability to, to uh, destroy them and weaken them and uh, let, let the rain in, and, and, but they're not doing that. So uh, they are chemtrailing, and that is uh, the other part of this uh, weather modification uh, operation is that they use the chemtrails to uh, prevent lift, atmospheric lift, and that stops the rain. Okay, now here's the uh, Central Pacific Hurricane Center. This is, this is the, an update on uh, Tropical Storm Polly, which is now moving, uh, now it's moving due north. Okay, just about two hours ago it was moving due east. So this, things have changed again. And, uh, I've been waiting uh, to do this report because I wanted to uh, allow some of these maps to refresh because we've got some uh, activity in the middle, of the, uh, rather in the core of uh, Tropical Storm Polly that I wanted to uh, document. But now we have movement north, due north at, at two miles per hour. And uh, we have 60 mile per hour winds. So this storm has uh, intensified somewhat from yesterday. And the storm had 40 mile per hour winds yesterday. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, Central Pacific. We have uh, the water vapor loop shown. And here is Tropical Storm Polly. And we can see a, a very intense core, dark blue, indicated uh, the most intense down here on the right. And this core is being targeted. We can see the, uh, the diminishment in the core over the seven and one half hour loop. We can see the blast pattern down here. They're targeting the storm in the core with probably microwave energy. And uh, when this storm is hit with that energy, it uh, superheats the core and uh, we have uh, instantaneous heating of, of water vapor which rapidly expands and we have uh, rings and violent activity around the core and the, the periphery of this storm and we can see that violent uh, blast pattern down here along the bottom edges and also up along this uh, edge here now let's take a look at the uh, let's take a look at the infrared loop we can see that uh, that, that uh, core diminish after it's uh, targeted in the early sequence, the early part of the sequ uh, sequence, we can see that the, uh, the core is a bright red and, and uh, then it uh, diminishes down to a, uh, a yellowish uh, color. So the storm has weakened as it's hit. Let's go take a look now at the, uh, we can see the core of this uh, storm and uh, but uh, there are no shockwaves uh, visible on this uh, view right now. There are no uh, shockwaves visible. So uh, we'll go back and take a look. Okay, so here's the, uh, this is probably, this is the, the best view we can see tonight of showing a blast pattern and a core diminishment. Uh, we can see that color change. So they are hitting the storm as it moves due north. 
Okay, now this is the Tropical Pacific uh, water vapor loop. We can see a wide view of what's happening with this storm. This is just another view. Uh, pretty much the same. All right, uh, that is the uh, report for today. Um, we may have some rain. We do have very high uh, relative humidity right now, 94%. We've got a dew point of 46 degrees. The temperature is 48 degrees. So we may have a little bit of rain. Uh, but that high pressure and the chemtrailing going on is, is uh, so it's very iffy. We, we probably won't get much, if any, rain. So that's, that's the report. We'll do an update tomorrow.